was kind of a strange Halloween this year with many towns postponing trick-or-treating, but for some, spirits and paranormal activity can be all too real year-round. Nicole and Angel Ortiz, the co-founders of Connecticut Soul Seekers, a local nonprofit that helps people make sense of the unknown, are here on the show today. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Anytime. We love coming. This thanks for having us. This must be your busy time of year, is it yes, fair to say? Yes, It's oh, been yeah. crazy. Um, lectures, presentations, um, everybody's haunted this time of That's year. That's true, right? Really? So. <laughs> well, how'd you get started in this business? Um, for me, it's a, it's always been a part of my life. I grew up in a haunted house, like a lot of people out there that are in this field. Um, so it's something I've always experienced. For Angel, it was a little bit different. Yeah, unlike Nicole, she was always into the paranormal. Mm -hmm. And I recently got into it after uh, four years ago when my mother passed away. Mm -hmm. And I started questioning what really happens after we pass. So I started questioning Nicole about the paranormal, and she shared her knowledge. Wow, and what made you guys start uh, Connecticut Soul Seekers? Um, well, I mean, we were going out and we were kind of doing our own thing because we had some strange things happening in our own house, so it was kind of like our little testing field. Um, and then when we really realized that there's people out there that are really frightened by this and they're afraid and they don't understand what's going on, mm -hmm. why not help somebody if you can help? So, and it's just, mm -hmm. it's becoming, it's become our life. It's a huge part of our life now. Now, you guys don't get paid for this. Yeah, you have no, other no. jobs. <laughs> I'm sure it's very time consuming. It is. But it's, I'm sure, you know, you're helping people along the way. Yeah, yeah. and it's worth it. I mean, it's, I, I can't tell you anything that I could be doing that's more and more worthwhile than what we're doing. Um, we have our 40 hour a week jobs that pay the bills and <laughs> then this is our 80 hour a week job that doesn't wow. pay the bills. <laughs> well, let me ask you about the new show you have online that we could watch. And I know that's also on public access yes. in yep. the Naugatuck area. Yep, actually um, the next airing is gonna be tonight at um, 10.30, it'll be 10 on. 10.30 tonight. Um, it's called Our Haunted Lives, the series, because we also have a blog talk radio show that's called Our Haunted Lives as well. And what we're doing is we're kind of taking the people in what it's really like on an investigation. Um, a lot of times what you see on television is for entertainment mm -hmm. um, so you don't get the full scope of what really goes into it the amount of hours and times right. and that's what we're doing but they also get to see some very real evidence and and very real people that are dealing with stuff like this let's kind of talk about an investigation you have tools that you bring along with you angel i'm sure yes we do we have uh k2 which is also an emf meter which we didn't actually bring but uh <laughs> It picks up uh, high EMFs, which that's one of the theories that a spirit can pick up mm -hmm. um, to try to manifest. And a uh, digital voice recorder, which picks up voices. Okay. Which the difference between digital voice recorder and disembodied voice. Disembodied voice, you can actually hear with your own ears. But the uh, digital voice recorder, you can actually pick it up after the investigation. Wow. And that's what we find we get the most of a lot of it's yeah. EVP, electronic voice phenomena. And on most cases, that's that's what you end up. You won't even know right. what's happening while you're there until you go back and do that review. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at some video that okay, you guys brought great. with you because uh, it's it's pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, this one is a family that we were working with um, in our hometown in Naugatuck, Connecticut. It was a young couple and they were hearing a lot of strange things happen in the house, so they decided to set the camera on themselves while they were sleeping because they were waking up and having all kinds of stuff going on. And oh my this goodness. is what was picked up. Now, that's not a person doing that. That is no, not a person not doing that. Um, as it, part of what we do, we have to remain skeptical on things sure. and always look for natural. So my first thing walking in was looking, where can a string be up or anything like that? But I can honestly tell you within oh five gosh. minutes of talking to this family, it, 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 nothing like that going on. It took them several months before they would even move in the house because they were frightened by what was happening. Really? Okay. And, uh, you know, you typically would want to move into a house as quick yeah. as you can, so that's legitimate, a Especially legitimate concern. Especially when you're living with your parents. You want that to too. House. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some other video here. Right. This is uh, the stairwell. What are we looking at here, Angel? You're going to see... Oh, or go ahead. Either go one ahead. Of you. Yeah, this one here one. was actually taken mm -hmm. in uh, New Haven. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, the uh, orb coming from around the corner. Now, a lot of people think that orb is the dust. Okay. But in this case, as you see the orb coming around, the light actually turns on on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. Come on, the light went on by itself. That would, did yeah. you get scared? Like, because some of this would freak me out, I feel like. Well, at that moment, no. But when we look at it later on, then we're like, oh, whoa. <laughs> There's something there, right? Yeah. He has his scared moments. Don't let him fool <laughs> you. Do not let him fool you. I'm only human. <laughs> sure. All right, we have one more side of video, sure. a little bit more video here. Now we're watching a, a hairbrush here. Kind yeah, of it's, a, right it's a brush and you're going to see it come up and over the side. But what's really interesting with this one is afterwards, you're going to see the camera is going to blur out. Yeah, what you're seeing, seeing right, right now. now. Yep. And then it's going to go right back into focus. And nobody touched focus. the camera. It nobody just... touched it. Nobody was in the room. Now if you put your hands in that front of the lens, it will go out of focus. Uh -huh. But in this case, no. Nobody did that. Mm -mm. Wow. All right, let's look at some pictures. Okay. And uh, you'll explain to us what we're seeing. and. 
All right. You can explain this one, Angel. This one here. Angel, that's taken. you, isn't it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually taken in the uh, cemetery where you can actually see the misformation. Is it foggy? Is it smoky? No. What are we looking at? It was actually, yeah, that, that's actually a uh, misformation. Yeah, it's, it, people in the field refer to it as like an ectoplasmic mist. Yeah. I don't really like it because it kind of <laughs> sounds like Ghostbusters. <laughs> that. But um, that's what we refer to it as, and we believe that this is occurring when a spirit is trying to manifest or okay. to show itself. Wow. So these are a bunch of different mist formations. And sometimes you could see faces and such, like that one right up where the tree area is. Um, it almost looks like there's a face in there. Yeah. But you also have to be careful of matrixing. Our, our minds try to make sense out of things that don't make sense. It's how we're programmed. So when we see something like this, it, it's trying to give us a logical reason for it. This is why yeah. you can't smoke cigarettes or anything like that. Yeah. Because sure. that's that will be confused with it. So. Got it. Uh, <laughs> what do you say to the naysayers that are like, ah, there's nothing out there? You know what? I can't prove to the world that this that this plane of existence exists, but they can't prove to me that it doesn't. That's right. true. So, I mean, you, you know have what? some evidence yeah. here that we're looking Come at. Come along on an investigation. We're, you know, we take people all the time with us. Um, we're not trying to make anybody a believer. We're just You're not trying making to say, any money off of this. Yeah, exactly. So we have no true. reason to. You're going to have kinda... skeptics. You're going to have believers. Mm -hmm. and. It's, it's really hard. It's really hard to uh, prove it. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the next investigation is in December. You're yes, heading up to... Uh, we're going to be uh, going to the Houghton yep. Mansion up in North Adams, Massachusetts. Um, oh, we yeah. have um, some other teams going with us. We work closely with Rise Up Connecticut. And um, CPAIR is going to be coming with us up there. And that's where we're going to be shooting our next episode of Our Haunted Lives as Very well. Very interesting. Where can we find more information on you guys? You can get on the website. www.ctsoulseekers.com. All mm -hmm. right. Nicole Angel, thank you so much for being You're here. Welcome. Thanks for having us. All right. And stay